Have you ever felt that you're 10,000 feet above ground and that you can't breathe? Have you ever felt that the ground beneath your feet is slipping away and that you can't stand? Have you ever felt helpless to the extent that there is nothing you could do to make things better? And in such times, has anyone picked you up, dusted you a bit, and tossed you back to the ocean? Mr. Gandhi's chair, Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, I was four years old and it was story time. My grandfather sat next to me and started to read the story of the starfish. Once upon a time, there was a man named Tom who was walking along the beach early in the morning. And as he walked, he found a starfish on the right near his feet. He picked him up, dusted him a bit, and tossed him back to the ocean. And as he walked in further, he found hundreds of starfish right beneath his feet. He picked him up, and as he picked that up, there was a man walking by, stuck, and said, Are you stupid? There's hundreds of them. You possibly can't make a difference to all of them, so why even try? Tom replied, I may not be able to make a difference to all of them. But to this little fella, I made all the difference in the world. Dusted him a bit and tossed him back to the ocean. Saying that, my grandfather stopped talking and walked away. And here I was waiting. That's it? He looked at me and said, One day, you will understand. And I started to think, Hmm. If only he had a place where he could learn how to have an attention grabbing opening and a clear conclusion. <laughs> then I remember I had to go to the bar. Friends, don't let this innocent face deceive you. I was the devil in school. So much so that I had my own moniker. G F N R. Good for nothing. Pratnaya. <laughs> One day, Mrs. Beatrice, my English teacher, saw me down the hall and said, Ratnayaka, why don't you take part in the English speak contest? I looked at her and said, Ma'am, come on, I'm not going to win. She walked up to me, touched my head, looked into my eyes and said, Son, it is not about you winning. It is about you going up there and showing the whole world that you belong here. And no matter who say what about you, I know that you will make a difference in yourself and you. Saying that, she walked away, giving me a whole world full of love, courage, and confidence. From that very moment, I started working so hard, so hard, to make a first impression the second time in school. And the day that I won my contest, then and then I realized what my grandfather told me. It was about giving people second chances to make a difference in them. Mrs. Beatrice picked me up, dusted me a bit, and tossed me back to the ocean. Often people think that when we give people second chances, it requires our money, it requires our time, it requires our effort right across the clock. But the truth is, all it needs is a simple smile, a kind hug, and a few, few gentle words to tell them that we love them, to tell them that we care about them, and to tell them that we believe in them. And that would change a man's world just like Last year at my division contest, when I lost, I was devastated. I told myself I will never ever compete. I told myself I'm not good enough. And I told myself I will never ever make a joke out of myself. And as I walked out of that auditorium, hopelessly, I met a friend. I asked him, bro, any idea for a mediocre speaker like me to win a contest ever? He 
he looked at me and said, Koli, the idea is not to be right. The idea is to be real. And the day will come when the whole world will realize how real you are. But until then, do not deprive the audience of your speeches. Do not call quits on those sponsors. And more importantly, do not give up on yourself. Toastmaster means the ladder. Pick me up, dust me a bit, and toss me back to the ocean. Friends, Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, what's real is what's now. And today's reality is a result of our truthfulness and commitment to the cause yesterday. Our truthfulness and commitment to the cause today will determine our reality tomorrow. And this is me telling all of you, we know those today. I will be there to pick you up, dust you a bit, and toss you back to the ocean. Because Mother Teresa once said, don't do great things with little love. Do little things with great love. And in that spirit, let me ask all of you to rise, please. Can I have all of you to rise? And say it me. Whenever you're down, whenever you're down, whenever you feel lonely, whenever you feel lonely, and whenever you're down on your knees, whenever you're down on your knees, I will be there. I'll be there. To pick you up. To pick you up. Dust you a bit. Dust you a bit. And Toss you back to the ocean. And toss, toss you back, back to the ocean. ocean.